computer here and we'll get started. So this is just, this is the first time I've sat through this part of the um, operation. So my belief is that this is just a review of the minutes that the Secretariat took and we all agree that this is in order. If there's any additions or changes, uh, please bring them up. Would you like me to read through this or has everybody had a chance to take a look at this? I've read What's it. the normal procedure? Do we just go through this page by page? Was it sent to us? Yes, last night. Yes, last night. Sorry, did not see it. Let me grab it. I think we probably just want to take this page by page, right? Mm -hmm. I have, I do have a comment when we get down here a little bit. <clears throat> I think it. Yes. Um, do you want me to? Go ahead. All right. So I just, we all can agree on number one, the opening of the session. Just jump in if uh, two, the nomination um, of Norm. Uh, three, the accreditation of members. Four. Okay, I've noted that it's not good with the process in one second. Uh, five. Hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Canadian, he's a little slow. <laughs> it's slow because right. of the beers last night. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I all behave all myself. I behave myself. It's because I was home in bed with a migraine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, otherwise, <laughs> you'd be slower. Uh, I should ask, am I, am I actually reaccredited? I'm not listed as being reaccredited. Yours rolled yeah. over. Mine rolls over. Okay. Yeah. What time did you send it, Andrea? I'm so sorry, but I'm not just not seeing it here. Oh, there we go. I got it. Sorry. Yeah, you have to scroll to six. Um. Are we on number four? We've on number six. six huh. I might go back if anyone would like. Greg's point does he does his name need to be on that list underneath? No, the company E and E. E and E is there. It doesn't have to show. No, so uh, Kit started as the uh, oh, accredited right. member and then as the owner. Um, oh. He just. Okay. Were <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> so we on the um Captain guest room? Yes, yeah. or the common area. Common area. I'll try that one. I read it last night, but uh, Jesse, we see your hand up. Well, I'm just getting ahead of myself. I'll wait till we get to what I was going to say. Sorry. Be yeah. Agree on the number seven, adoption of the agenda. Yes. Number eight, the notes with regard to Dr. Stewart's presentation. Felt like Everybody's concern was pretty well addressed here. And you know, all the indicators are that majority of us have a lot of concern with the stock abundance. So that's pretty well pointed out. That, that was kind of my big point I was trying to get with the end yesterday. 
that if we're in the wrong end of this maturity thing, we shouldn't even be open. Number 10, uh, the notes with regard to Dr. Hicks's presentation. Um, I have a quick question. So on the screen, it's 10 and 11. On my copy, it's one and two and three. So um, under IPHC Secretariat informational session, um, so on this copy, line eight is listed as line one. So which which copy is the most recent one? Should be the same. Let me go into. Are my... there any changes between one and two here? And they are. They're not. Let me see. The report after it was sent has not been edited again. So let me go in and. Should have the word. I sent the word. Um, Microsoft Word has default formatting. Um, G. You open it in nine. Microsoft Word. Just going off of what's coming here. I, I, I can't find it. I can answer, uh, uh, clarify. I can, I can clarify why the, the formatting potentially is, has changed. We have not edited the document since it was sent. Um, uh, so when you potentially, we could send it as a PDF instead of a word document, but then it wouldn't be editable. Um, but when you open up this, uh, uh, specialized formatted document in a new instance of Microsoft word that does not have the formatting that we have programmed into our instances of Microsoft word, it, get that. it renumbers things. Yeah. yeah. No problem on any of that. Yeah. I'm just curious what the, uh, final version will be this one okay thank you that's what i was curious so on uh, i think it's 9g it's the last line says pulled back in the last 15 years allowing the stock to grow though recruitment remains a challenge i was curious about the 15 years have we run this by Ian, I mean, I'm just remembering there are times when we've increased the PCEY in the last 15 years. The notes that I provided you, I think, said in recent years. I was thinking maybe in the last five years. Honestly, um, I'm just wondering if there's there was some more research done for the 15. I can just send it. Ask Ian yeah. to verify. Yep. Uh, so Monica will send to ask Ian to verify. Uh, the process of the notes is that it does go. Uh, I do the, the notes. It then goes to Dave to refine the notes. So Dr. Wilson is who has done the final um, edit on this, and I would venture a guess that he is correct. Um, but we can double check with uh, Dr. Stewart. I think that would be good. Yeah. Just just to get it clear. This feels like we've been taking reductions for the last 15 years and. Which hasn't been that. I'd almost go with just recent rather than yeah. specifying we can, the yep. year, but we'll seek verification. In a general sense, it's true. If you went back 15 That's years right. at what the quota level was and then what it is now, we have definitely right. pulled back. So that could be it's the a minor thing. But yeah, the letter of accuracy would not pull back every year, which no. sort of tends to read. I think. 10 years ago, it was 40, 40-ish 40 million. 
Yeah. And then we dropped a bit and went up a little bit, came down a little bit. So. Okay, do we want to come back to that after we hear from staff? Yeah, it's going to take a minute. Okay. Just keep rolling down and. I will highlight. Thank you. Notes provided for Dr. Hicks. Okay. Moving on to the notes provided for Dr. Webster's presentation. I'm sorry, I do have a question. Um, I just don't recall it. So under uh, the PAB noted that A, B, C, D, the C part, sorry, that's 11, paragraph 11. Um, there was an intersessional stakeholder discussion before that Oh, an intersessional stakeholders discussion is proposed before next year's meeting. Yes, you guys had talked about uh, perhaps getting together uh, to do an intersessional stakeholders uh, conversation. And Dr. Hicks talked about the importance of the MSAB and the MSC for strategic direction and offered to help walk through any uh, MSC um, programs that you guys would like to, to go through. <laughs> Thank you. I remember that Heather maybe made that comment. Um, could you insert in there that that's about MSAB or MSC? It doesn't really say it anywhere other than Dr. Hicks. Let's propose for better preparedness for future comments. Um, There's a discussion with one group. In that kind of it does it, it does, does. It's, it can stand the way it yeah. is the next one sort of explains it because i think with the semicolon it drops down and more reference in what yeah that's our comment would be that maybe we should change the was to is proposed because this i mean if you just read it right off the cuff and i think that what popped into peggy's mind is this immediately was that this is something that we've already done if it's is it, it leads to a future discussion, points to a future discussion. That might be better, yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Moving forward to Dr. Webster's uh, recap on the FIS. Is this in this area where we would where we mentioned the quality of the product that's being delivered by the vessels that's making it hard for pricing to get a good value for their <clears throat> since it seems like they were talking about how they're not they're not making enough revenue off of them, but they're not taking care of the quality of the fish either. So it's kind of a catch twenty two. I think that the secretariat would maybe want a little bit more, um, not research, but a conversation with processors and, and proof to make sure that that was factual before putting it into, into a report. Okay. So how, so here's on C where it says industry challenges were raised. To me, that sounds like the industry has challenges. So my, which is, which is true, but the challenges are with the survey, taking uh, part in the survey. Industry definitely has challenges. There's no shortage of that, for sure. But then 
rest of that sentence or that phrase um, refers to the fist without mentioning it. So it might be more clear to say, um, <clears throat> Cab members raise challenges associated with um, lack of stable funding for the FIS, market dynamics of affecting the bidding. It's about fish quality. I think the rest of it is fine, but there needs to be some reference to the FIS, I think. We really were asking and talking about challenges to the FIS process. Well, I think for C. What do you think? Because it is their fish quality. It's not the overall quality of the industry. That was the concern. That was my point. It was. Does this um, help? These are just comments from the PAB. It doesn't, <clears throat> it think, is a comment. We did make those comments. I think that industry challenges are raised surrounding the FIS, including the need for stable funding, market dynamics, yeah, affecting bidding, concerns yeah. about fish quality. Thanks, Thank Andrew. you, Monica. That's much better. Well, Andrew. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, if I may. Yes, go ahead, Jesse. Uh, just to add another maybe uh, something else in there. I know Liam's comment about timing was also really beneficial. Um, so maybe that might be something worth adding also, like the timing of the deliveries was made it difficult. For, if we're adding those in, sorry, I can't tell if we're gonna add in those extra um, comments or not, but if we are, maybe timing would be good. It's a it's a good point to bring up. I'm, I don't know, I mean, it, it, that comes into the fish quality conversation um i don't know if i mean there's other things that address fish quality besides timing um you know how you clean the fish how you ice them on and on i mean we could we could we could go down a pretty lengthy road about uh, and addressing this we we did talk about landing times affecting marketability it wasn't to do with quality yeah it was <clears throat> Right, like BC, um, I thought it was interesting how BC mentioned they don't, their employees no longer work on the weekend. So if deliveries come in on Friday, it's a very, oh yeah, it's not a convenient time for them. Let's they would prefer it before that. So you have to basically, you're indebted to them if they work on weekends. True. To make it happen. It's just not, not fun to make it. They don't want to, and you know, you're trying to get what you can out of them. So you try to keep them out of the deliveries. I can't keep them on the weekends because it's time and air. Well, I think that covers it. There. Monica I did just uh, point out that landing times are within the market dynamics affecting bidding. But do you guys want the extra landing times uh, added into there? It was a yeah. I think, I think landing yeah. times for sure. Um, Tyler is online. Landing days or times? I think it should be time. Days and times. Yeah. Hey, um, <clears throat> just one quick comment on my end that I, know I didn't think about bringing this up the last couple of days, but um, I think one real low hanging fruit that I see that can improve prices on um, on survey fish is just more additional communication. Um, I think just speaking for us, there's times where we don't know about the landings until two days out. And by that time, it, it's too late for us to bid on that fish, often because of logistical problems. Um, like truck capacity is a major issue for us when it gets into the summer period. Um, and if there's more advanced notice, then we, we could have been on the fish. And, and I think um, just over the course of the year, the uh, survey prices will be better if there's additional communication. I guess what I got in mind is just. A quick note to everyone, you know, as the vessel's leaving, hey, this boat's going out. Um, here's what we're estimating volume and timing. And then, you know, maybe another note four days out. Um, here's here's updated timing and poundage. And then, you know, follow the typical protocol of letting people know two days out. But um, just more, more communication like that, I think, would be 
really helpful for us. And I don't know if that's worthy of putting in a report or just informally talking to IPHC staff on it, but uh, I thought I'd mention it. It's a good point, Tyler. Thank you. Did you hear the communication yesterday about maybe getting together as a group and giving them a few pointers on what would make the survey more successful? And that would be part of that. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to join in on that. I, I'm not sure when that's happening, but I'd be happy to join in. Well, we haven't scheduled anything yet, but I'm just going to okay. say that when we did discuss it at this time, the possibility of a subcommittee to help with marketing, it's a good okay. idea. It should be noted. So can we edit that sentence to somewhere put in there, increased communication? I could put another bullet in about that. About the subcommittee? Yeah, I think it should be, that's where it should be added. Between C and D or? Just after D, E maybe. We were dealing with a technical issue uh, <laughs> there. Uh, so could I please have you uh, help? Write your sentiment here. Um, would you like me to cue in on that or, or someone else? I, I don't know the best way to articulate it for the report. Well, I think we're all trying to decide that. If you want to take a stab at it, Tyler, go ahead. <clears throat> um, perhaps just have noted that um, more advanced notice of. Uh, IPHC survey trips would help uh, help accomplish a higher dock price. I don't know. But that could be added to C, but I think E is about the discussion around the subcommittee. Yeah. You know, oh, oh, apologies. Yeah. The discussion was made to uh, yeah. propose a subcommittee to help address the needs. I've noted that. Of increasing value on this. Oh, let's see, how can we say that? This production. This landings. Landings. This landings, yeah. I think also for E. Possibly having something like had noted that more advanced notice of. But I think, I think there was also like a, a component. I don't want to like change your thing, Tyler, but more communication. Because I think normally as buyers were in communication with the vessels when they're out fishing. So you're getting a little bit more information coming. And I think that, you know, whether that. Just more communication, I think, is sort of came up. It would be helpful if you if you stated who would you how you. There was to accomplish that. Like, are you talking to the IPC? Well, I, I mean, normally, normally we'd be in discussion with the captain as he's as he's fishing. But I also understand that the captain doesn't want to talk to you know all these potential bidders. So I don't know if it's. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that communication would go through that APHC. Yeah. Um, well, just like you get two points there. And you would send out a notice that, that the vessel is going out. There's, there's two points. One is, you know, we usually know you're going to fish five days and you're going to come in mm -hmm. on, you know, anticipated come in so much, no volume estimates or anything, but, you know, you, you usually have a, a sense four or five days before you're in when you're going to mm. in and everybody understands weather dependent and don't know the volume but maybe that's the kind of notice kit's looking for but the other point which which isn't that is what day some potential to manipulate the landing dates so it doesn't fall on a weekend those are we talked about all that but there were two different yeah those are two different points I think that's something we can hammer out in the subcommittee. <clears throat> well, in the sub, the, even the potential to form a subcommittee is is another different one, right? I mean, that, that's a whole. I've noted that. 
there was interest in forming a subcommittee around maximizing market value, something like that. Well, it's an increasing value. Of yeah. So all the that's good. Yeah, the skippers they they communicate with staff. They communicate with Kayla. Is there? Uh, the, there's a team. There's okay. Team. Yeah. But, but yeah, just like I say, you send out the notice to bid. No one the 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 dock or the boats leaving the dock, you send out it saying the vessel is leaving, this is the proposed port, you know, heads up. So, so and so. I'm just make I'm gonna read it really quick to make sure that so you can understand that. So give me a second. Mm -hmm. Potentially you just don't say advance notice, you say uh, oh a, of a survey trip. Trip landing. Yeah, I think that's great. Trip departure and landing. Well, I don't know if they care when you left. They just want to know when Basically, you want them to hail out. Hail in and out. I'll explain. <laughs> I think it looks fine. I was on that team before, so I think they'll all understand. <clears throat> Moving forward with fishing periods, season opening and closing dates. I think the time for the closing, I thought we said 2359, because doesn't it have to be right. the, the 2400, some, it could be, well, is that the 16th or the 15th? That is it. Yeah, I think it needs to be 2359. Oh, we did say that. Yeah. Moving forward on mortality limits. Did we skip over the timing thing that or did I miss it? We have fishing periods. Yeah, we just covered that. We changed it to Yeah, I was texting with Heather. And then get her down here. Okay. So the opening dates is fine. I'm good with that. Everybody else is all good with that. Okay, for the opening times, do you think that the that the commissioners are gonna want to go into I'm sure they've heard discussion from conference board on why we everybody wants this to happen you think that we need to put in anything beyond that we voted for it like a rationale just explaining yeah. that it allows the gear to be pulled yeah mm -hmm. uh, my my thoughts when i first read this was wondering if we if we need to put in you know what our side of the explanation of why we think that it's important <clears throat> one of the comp one of the things that comes to my mind that i raised was uh you know, improving the quality of the product. If you're not fishing at night, you're gonna have a sand fleet. But we could go into we could go into that for a long time. So sand fleas, it's safety, it's a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, let's just leave it as it is, I guess. And then if there's questions we can yeah, I don't they, they might ask. Yep. Moving forward with mortality limits wide perspective and the TC, uh, TCEY recommendations. I'm glad that we came up with more than unanimous so it was close. I know that I think the conference board's got two different proposals. One from the Canadian side, one from the U.S. side. Um, I, I, I'm really proud that we were able to. I don't think it was anybody we exactly wanted, but we got something that we could all kind of live with. That was okay. Under mortality limits, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Yeah, under mortality. Uh, yeah. So we had, we had basically we had something 
that everybody would almost it almost everybody voted yes for as opposed to having two different things on country lines. I just don't think that's the idea that we have here. Adding this all on the back. <laughs> we'll take it with notes. <laughs> Moving forward to <clears throat> proposal A1. And Passed. Yeah. A2 passed. And then A3, noting that you did not take uh, action. Yeah. Same with B1 and B2. For proposal C1, we all in favor. And then C2, no action. Number seven, the election of the chairs. Chair. Um, and we do have a, once we finish this, if you'd like, we can come back to the question with regard to uh, Ian, in the 15 years, he has provided language back to us. Come back to the question of what? Uh, Ian, the 15 years that we flagged earlier. Okay. So are we, I'm a number seven election. You're, you're way ahead of me. Hold on one second. Can you put in my email and on appendix one, please? Yeah. Yes, and this will also be <clears throat> cleaned up. Uh, so then under other business, um, we didn't note the lion's share of their time here was discussing TCEY. And I don't see any reflection of that. So shouldn't we include that they came to explain what they wanted from us on the TCEY? The initial ask. Or is everyone okay that we don't mention that part? We don't have anything in there that mentions that discussion, do we? Do there are minutes? This is a note, but do your full minutes, do they reflect any of the discussion? Oh, yeah. Also, yeah. Can we look at that real quick? Oh, you call um, I haven't edited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Does anybody Don't judge to, me. Does anybody want to take a stab at talking through that? And how does everybody feel? I mean, do we, do we feel like we want it mentioned in there? That's a valid conversation. I don't know. Sorry, Norm, I'm not quite hearing you. What's the subject that's delicate? Well, whether that we skipped over the fact that, that you brought out that we did not, that it's not mentioned here, that we discussed the TCUI. 
And that's with. And why is that delicate? Sorry. With, with the. It's not sure. delicate. Yeah. I'm not saying that's delicate. That's I, I guess. I'm saying that we. Whether we should mention that conversation in this or not. I think something I to also add in, you know, just the discussion that we had regarding the working group with, them, with the two commissioners, just to have it on record. Okay. So we probably don't need to see the minutes. Oh, so let's see. So we could change that first sentence under other business to say the PAB welcomed the participation of the IPHC chair and vice chair. Oh, you say of the commission, that's good, that's great. Who attended the session to provide <coughs> information on their expectations of TCEY advice from the PAB. And clarification on the recent TCEY. Why <laughs> well, I didn't want to show you my notes. <laughs> <laughs> And then something in response to Carl's comment within that uh, within the second line number thirty two. Because like the the component regarding accreditation was handled already yep. up towards the top. So I think it was just just uh, maybe Jesse has some I am not a wordsmith, so, um, but I, I do wonder, I think concerned is a word that we're able to use, um, and maybe in there we can kind of just express the PAB is, I don't know if, we're, if concerned is the right word, but I, I mean, I, I get that it's noted there, but I don't necessarily feel like it expresses um, the PAB's concern about how this, how the rules of procedure will drastically, could drastically change the landscape of our membership. Um, so if you just inserted the PAB's concern after the, I think that would address that. So, no. so maybe, I mean, I guess after 32, would that be after 32? Because we definitely did note the rationale and appreciate that from the commissioners on the membership. So I don't know if that goes before or after. Or I was looking another sentence. Sorry, yes, yeah, I was looking at just inserting it into 31 uh, at the bottom there where it says the recent rules of procedure changes in the letter to the PAB. If we just inserted the PAB's concern. Uh, I after, think, go ahead. So 30, sorry, 32 talks about PAB membership. So I think if we were going to add something in about membership, it should go there, maybe. Does that make sense? Good, yes. Yeah, I'm I'm good with that. It's a little better. Um I'm not sure how to yeah. It, it wouldn't be noted or noted their concern. Okay. Sorry, no no no, that's fine. You guys know better than I do, sorry. Grave concern. <laughs> <laughs> um, with the potential maybe or with the drastic change or um, I'm trying to, sorry, I should have thought of this ahead of time. With the impact, yeah, impact. Um, change to the tap, to the tour on the PAB. Change to the tour. Change that first of, good. Noted their concern after the breakout. And then the, about the potential impact, would that be better? Potential impact. Yeah. Instead of with the impact, about the potential impact. 
I thought, Peggy, can you? Sure. It's that sentence should read, the PAB noted their concern about the potential impact. Can we say many, many potential impacts? Yes. Yeah. About instead yeah. of the many, instead of the put many. And then S after impacts. The change to the tour. Well, do we want to say something about the direction that the changes might change to the path that it how it will stray away from processing? Do you want to put anything like that in or not? As we're thinking about that. I think we could speak see. to that probably rather than write it down. I mean, because it could get pretty lengthy pretty quick. Mr. Chair, I can talk to you. Um, Last year, changes. Of the changes to the tour on the tab operations and membership. Or, yeah, I know. I, I think terms of reference. Terms of reference, period. It just like changes to the terms of reference uh, on the yeah, tab. I think you're right. Do we want to say many? Just, I would just get rid of operate. <clears throat> many potential or adverse impacts. No, I think we should leave it no. <clears throat> many yeah. potential impacts. <clears throat> because we did talk about some positive, positive changes in associations in the stretch. I mean, you're right. Negative concerns and positive concerns. Well, wasn't one of the conclusions to monitor it, right? I mean, I don't think we were too hysterical about it. It said we would monitor it. There were some concerns and we would monitor it. That's covered in 32 that they would deal, that that would be dealt with at the time regarding PAB membership numbers. Um. I, I do agree that I think there's like it was a pretty in depth conversation, and I think that there should be something noted about our concern about how that's going to change. Maybe we shouldn't put in adverse then. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, I mean, it can be good or bad also. I just. Yeah, I would say neutral might be, I would rather have many just because I think that addresses like the sport and like customers, uh, the broadness of the language. But I don't, if you want to say adverse, that's fine too. I'm, I'm open to whatever. I think this is better. I think neutral Good. is better. You're the guy that's got to say it. Because mm -hmm. yeah, you don't want to say disruptive impact. I just... I will note just personal opinion that I'm a guy that likes to identify trouble coming down the pike and try to address it before we have to deal with it. And trying to deal with it after the fact is always harder, but that's not our decision. Well, I, I think that's why I pointed that out to him. Like, <laughs> so Mike, the thing that I'm thinking about in this discussion is what is the mechanism to change i mean the way i look at the path is kind of like being pregnant you know it's like you're in you're in i mean so what, what mechanism is it for the well, commissioners to remove something once it's here i i don't think there is one Maybe. there was a lot of hysteria around this greg this is the problem they, we 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 put a lot of time on a straight coat group into Finding the parameters, and we really did spend a lot of time. And they, they basically took it from about that to saying, if you can fog a mirror, you're right. You're in. And so that's raised some flags. And yes, I mean, I, I look at this as the last year. If this thing becomes something that we will see a reduction in 2C and 3A coming out of here, out of vote. Because driven by what? We have 25 new guys come in here and don't vote us. I mean, we'll see that coming, right? 
But what's the mechanism? I mean, so once they're here, if we're like the all of a sudden every seat's full, we have new voting, and because the ones you know, and I think Norman and I don't talk about, it, but I think we're in the same mindset. Is that this opens the door to a large support presence, and their bread and butter is two C and three A, and with the cash share plan, one pound. I mean, it's they're adamant right now. They can't. Um, take another single pound a cut. Yeah. And that's why, how we came up with the parameters that we mm -hmm. agonized over and got tossed. So they said, okay, we, there could be something about or some communication. If you want to, you want to broaden our recommendations, then. Oh, no, th this is just we, conversation. This isn't right, for this. Me too. What if it goes wrong, right? Yeah. That's what you're saying. What, what, what do you do there? What is the mechanism? Yeah. Is there one? I think that's why, you know, I wasn't happy with Paul's answer, like, oh, then we'll deal with it. Well, yeah. they're already in. Yeah, pretty ambiguous answer. Yeah. Do they say, well, these people are exempt from... Then that goes against their thing about being inclusive. <laughs> we say, we've got a problem with this, and they go, oh, it's not a problem for us. That's basically how they got it in like that. So, I mean, it was addressed, but I think that's... Satisfactorily. Yeah. I, I agree. I, I think they left it far. I'm totally happy with broadening our membership. <clears throat> and I feel like I failed in asking that in terms of saying, okay, we agree that I want to open the membership, but can we be at least a little bit more? Um, it's so broad and vague at the moment that it really does open us up for the potential for really yeah, yeah that I I feel like I failed in asking them that directly like how can we can we adjust this a little bit more to include those people that you have in mind or open this up more um but Does also have some constraints because at the moment we don't have any yeah. um, I mean I know what's in there our letter Jesse you know in the appendix I think it kind of summarizes what you know I don't directly recall we specified who we were concerned about joining yeah 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 as as bruce bruce mentioned we wordsmith that section for probably two hours like i think we spent a whole work group just working on or most of a work group working on that particular wording um so it was pretty <coughs> Thanks, Jess. So is there any way to tighten the criteria at all? Oh, I'm sure there is. So would that be another letter saying? It basically said we'll have none of it in, in, yeah. in no uncertain terms. That's what I got. Yeah. yeah. It's open. That's true. That's my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for your concern, but. Duly noted. Almost like we'll take responsibility if this goes out. Yeah. Off the rails. But. I have a question on is there <clears throat> proxies you could have? One. You can have one proxy. Okay. So you, you, your vote and one proxy. So we can't have somebody coming in here saying, oh, I'm from Sitka. I'm re representing these 10 people. <laughs> and I, in fact, only one. Yeah. That's right. You might want to call out in that conversation real quickly what you discussed yesterday about we were kind of out of order yesterday and people getting up and leaving and handing off their voting proxies. This has to take place. If you're going to know that you're not going to be here to vote, that the, <coughs> to be, the staff needs to be notified in the proxy set ahead of the meeting. Good idea. On lots of boards, you still can't have my um, own. voting member can appoint an alternate. Alternate, right? Um, well, you work on that. I, I just had one question, Andrew. If you could clarify that. Um, so, um, if I am attending the meeting, but I know I have to leave at a certain time, I would just email you the morning of and say, "Hey, I'm here till two, and I will vote for myself." But so and so will have my proxy after two p.m. Is that how that works, or is it like before the meeting even starts? Yeah. Um, yeah, I can I can read it from the website. It's on the <clears throat> meeting page. Um, 
do. where you would go to register for the meeting. If you scroll down a little bit, it, it refers to the term, uh, the rules of procedure. It says proxies are allowed from accredited members of the PAB, one proxy per attending member. Proxies shall be submitted to the IPHC secretariat prior to the PAB meeting in written or electronic form. A general proxy will authorize a designated PAB member to vote on any or all topics brought before the PAB on behalf of a PAB member who cannot attend either in person or remotely. A specific, pro a specific proxy will authorize a PAB member to vote only on specifically named topics listed on the proxy itself on behalf of the PAB member who cannot attend. Um, and I think, uh, and Andrea can correct me if I'm wrong. So this means basically that you send an email prior to the start of the PAP meeting, which would be the day, day one prior to that, um, stating the specific terms of the proxy that you are, are giving. So you can say, every time I leave the room, I want this other person to be my proxy. Um, if you have a planned flight out, um, that means... I'm planning to leave the room with this. Every after that, this person is my proxy. Uh, it just has to be done before the meeting, so we're aware. And this really is a procedural issue and a mistake on my part, trying to be accommodating with with Nicole. I will make sure when I'm communicating uh, with you next year that we line out the the proxy um, vote. And so, um, <coughs> this year um, and uh, we'll make sure to very clearly communicate how that is and how we need to apply the. the that was just gonna be my suggestion, maybe a note, just a reminder to the PAB ahead of next year's meeting. Definitely be in the minutes. Yeah. And you, yeah. that's, you said before, is that before day one of the meeting? So the very first day of the meeting, not each day. Very, yes, the, before the start. Start of the meeting, okay. Not at each day, no. Before, so if I'm not going to be here the last two days of the meeting, I need to set that up ahead of time. The very first day. Yeah. Yeah. So to be specific, that means before the PAB meeting opens, which if that is at 1230 on a Tuesday at 1225, you could get that note. Yes. Thank you. That's what I was concerned about. So not the day before, but just the moment before. Yeah, the specific wording is um, prior to the PAP meeting. Sorry? The specific wording just says prior to the PAP meeting. Chairman? Just a question. So are we going to vote on this now? We have one correction to... Oh. We're just waiting to address from Dr. Stewart. This end. We did get a few edits from Dr. Stewart on the 15 year sentence. Um, so I think Andrea can paste in the sentence he gave me. And then if anybody has questions, I can read my conversation with him back to you. Thanks, Mark. Is that on my email? Were there a lot of other edits made by this group? A few. Yeah. So I, I'll need to look at that. Yeah. yeah, online. Yes, and let's get uh, Dr. Stewart's paste in here, and then we can just walk through it. All <clears throat> no, I'm sorry, I wasn't here. The internet's a little bit slow, so it's. You don't live in Yakutat. You need Starlink. Well, Starlink has changed the world. Oh, it's wild, hey? I mean, oh my gosh, I, I never. I used to laugh at the kids there. I talk about the nuclear thing. We're offshore, sixty miles. It's you know, 12 seas, a little dish, high speed internet, walking all over the place. You're watching Netflix. Yeah, it's like, how the hell does this work? Like, yeah, they're listening. It's really been we got an extra 150 guys posting violations on social media every day. Posing <laughs> <laughs> in front of someone hanging over the side with no PFD on and the guy. Oh, yeah, we, that's the one we don't allow social media on my boat. Can't. We don't allow crack on our boats either, but it's on there. I come fit to me. No crack. It was a game changer. Everybody's got kids. It's all my sons. It is biological. Yeah. 
call. Yeah. Yeah, today, Mike, it just changed. Oh, like, I have to put Harold and his and uh, their kids in uh, business okay. so far away. And, Amazing. We were spending in Yakutan seven thousand dollars a month. Oh yeah. Yeah. To get in that car in Seattle. I don't know why I do that. that. Was okay. bucks a month. It was for just that fast. Yeah. One day it comes in a box in the mail and you're on. Yeah, and it's like you're on. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so on the screen is the uh, correction with uh, Dr. Stewart and <laughs> God, it'll money you. Power. Power. <laughs> you should just hit the table, Amor. <laughs> on the screen is the correction from uh, in language with Dr. Stewart, which Monica can walk through if needed. One way to read the hook. <laughs> yeah, the two main changes are 15 is now 13. Um, and he suggested taking out, allowing the stock to grow because it has not grown, in his words. I'm sorry. Next year, I'm coming with devices in my ears. I'm not hearing everything you're saying. Oh. The two main changes are changed 15 years to 13 years for accuracy. And he suggested uh, uh, taking out, allowing the stock to grow um, because it hasn't. Yeah. So just for accuracy. Ladder? With the ladder having. So we're removing. The ladder being fishing effort. Yeah. Just look at this. It says later instead of ladder, right? Thank you. That's my spelling. <laughs> Anybody find this disagreeable? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, natural variability and fishing effort are key components with the letter having a decreased effect. That doesn't make sense to me. I, I'm sorry. It's, it's a small thing. I'm, the other, the other way of wording it that was suggested, it because um, I didn't know what you wanted to say, um, what and I think I know where you're going with it. Um, so, with the ladder having been decreased for the last thirteen years, it hasn't been decreased for the last thirteen years. That was my only point. It's gone up and down. So, what did he really say? What did overall he really effect is it has been decreased. That's correct. From Ian's. So maybe overall decreased effect. Really? Yeah, I could say having had an overall. Have we had the recording? Yeah, we have it recorded. Who said it? Find out. I mean, we've got an I's and cross and T's here, but I, I think that that. You don't have to do that. And I mean, is it hard to go back to the recording and just see the phrase that Ian used when he made that comment? Ian has given this. Yeah, this is Ian's. This is, Ian's this is from Ian. This is from Ian. I just asked them to throw in overall to address the concern that it has fluctuated. Up yeah, and that's down. fine. That's good. Yeah. I just went too short here for spend time on this. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, with that, we can um, so real quick through the document one more yeah. time before. Yes, yes. Great. <clears throat> oh, I, I corrected that. We just added 50% from Ian, paragraph 20. It's PR 52%. What was the SPR rate of the blue line when they originally came out? Was it like 44? Three or 44. Yeah. 
52 would have been considered crazy back then. Need for this to change. Can, I, can you stop just for a second so I can read them? Or... I couldn't read that quickly. Let's go back to the top. Yeah, we'll just, I'm, let, let her, we've all gone through this, so let her read it. Jump to the next. Thank you. And does Appendix 2 include the addition we made to the agenda? Well, check that one out. Sorry? Does Appendix 2 the agenda include the addition that we made? I think you made that. By having the, um, inviting the commissioners. Inviting the commissioners? Yeah. I mean, it's, okay. I don't know. It's noted in That's fine. the report that they came and attended. I don't know if it needs to be. Okay. The official agenda because we did no, it. You didn't vote on an official we agenda. You no. didn't vote on it, no. I am. Okay, just, just let me know. Sorry, I just like, I'm watching you. I'm like, are you still reading? Sorry. It's okay. Being an old editor, um, that, that sentence doesn't completely make sense to me, but um, that's okay. I'm okay with it. I think we get the sense of it, but it's like, but though re recruitment remains a challenge, it, it's just it's saying a lot of different things. So I don't know what he actually said. So I'm just don't know. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it's fine. You added that. Good. Good. 
because it wasn't in there. That was going to be my only comment. So that's good. I don't recall this document. Okay. So can I get a motion to uh, approve this report as amended? So moved. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Online? <laughs> Get to click. Jesse? She's not there. Oh. Okay. We click. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you to what staff. Else? All right. Thank you. Can I keep the gavel? I think John's going to want it back. <laughs> Just in case. If you like to change things.